Hi, sailors. Welcome to the final episode of Season 9 Turk TV. We worked all year long to create a show that's for the students, by the students. As the year wraps up, we decided to ask our Tar TV seniors to reflect upon their last season of being a part of the crew. Hi, I'm Danny. I'm a senior in Tar TV. I've been in Tar TV for about two years now. And one of my favorite memories personally is probably I wasn't even in Tar TV in the Tar TV room. It was probably just staying up until 3 a.m. with Vanessa at home editing and being able to incorporate all of our favorite video games into our host segment as our final episode. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Hi, I'm Ethan Zamora. I'm the sports producer of Tar TV. Hi, I'm Jaden Gonzalez, and I'm a part of sports production. And my favorite memory being a part of the program has been uh, going to Angel Stadium and getting to go on the field and record the baseball game and then making a, a fun little hype video that's actually uh, on the YouTube page of Tar TV. Uh, it was super fun, and I really enjoyed it. My best part was the live streams, filming all the games, and then putting them into Tar TV episodes for hype videos. Hi, I'm Sophia Lopez, and I'm the special projects producer of Tar TV. My favorite memory from Tar TV is probably the entirety of Tar TV camp, but one moment in particular is one day when we went to go get pizza for everyone and we stuffed seven people into a car. And let's just say the driving wasn't the best, but we made it out alive, so. Hi, my name's Raisin and I'm a director for Tar TV. My favorite moment in Tar TV is during last Christmas when me, Peach, and Sophie, and Danny went on an excursion to Disneyland to film a host segment that was unreleased for the Christmas episode. Hi, my name is Vanessa Van Vliet. Um, I'm a senior in Tar TV and this year's special projects producer. Hi, I'm Peaches Kulik. I'm also a senior in Tar TV and I'm a director this year. Um, definitely my favorite memory in Tar TV has been uh, the Tarvies. It's always a fun event every year and it's really nice getting to look back at um, like all of the episodes we made throughout the year and voting on our favorites because most of the time it's always like the funny ones or the ones you won't think about. Like there's an award for like worst audio. So I kind of like how it's like switched up. I think it um, captures the spirit of Tar TV really well. My favorite memory is also from the Tarvies winning best actress last year. I'm Levi Kachidorian and I'm a senior for Tar TV. So when it comes to my favorite moment from Tar TV, I think it was episode four, uh, the project that I did for that, which was the segment about pumpkins. It was my favorite moment because I got to smash pumpkins, we got to record people throwing pumpkins, talking about pumpkins, and it was just fun. Uh, and my, the editing afterwards was definitely a very educational experience for me. Hello everyone, my name is Luke here. Today I'm going to tell you what my favorite part about Tar TV is. My favorite part about Tar TV is when I was dressing up as the one and only Spider-Man. Because I'm the new Port Harbor Spider-Man. And I'm not the only one. Not by a long shot. I'm Asher Koch. I'm a senior. I'm Henry Slater. I'm also a senior in Tar TV. My favorite memory is uh, going into the boiler room to film the ghost hunting segment and find all the evil spirits. Uh, my favorite Tar TV memory would be last year when I was a junior. Uh, we had a senior in our class named Bradley, and for one of the segments, I, I got to drive his car. 
Uh, that was pretty fun. Hi, my name is Omar Bavich. I am the executive producer of Char TV Season 9. One of my favorite moments this year in Season 9 was the Battle of the Bay live stream for football. Uh, it was a really close game the entire night, and then the winning touchdown was scored. We had like 11 or 12 people in this really small box that we use for these live streams. Um, it just, everyone went crazy. Uh, it was just really memorable, a lot of really good energy. Hey, are you going to college? <laughs> no. Well, in case you change your mind, let's go on a tour of OCC. Huh? We're at Orange Coast College. Hey Newport Harbor, I'm Brayden, and today in Life in the Harbor, we'll talk to a transfer counselor about getting ready for a university, a professor about what to expect at OCC, and a student about the benefits of programs like Pirate's Promise and Pirate's Cove. Let's dive in. What's your name? Hi, I'm Ashley Wong, and I'm a former sailor, and I'm about to graduate here at OCC. So what is the Pirate's Promise program? So the Pirate's Promise program is a program here at OCC where any student, no matter what financial background you come from, can go to go to OCC for two free years. And some students will actually have it paid by the California government. It depends on your financial aid. But going to OCC, you won't have to pay for classes for two years. So how does Pirates Cove help students? So Pirates Cove is actually really cool. Any student can go to it. So all you need to do um, is go scan your ID and then every day you can get a little snack. They have meals sometimes and then they have a little drink and other like protein bars um, just to fuel you throughout the day if you can't um, get food. Hi, my name is Jared Vidal. I am one of the counselors here at Orange Coast College, and I have the pleasure of working with our transfer students. We also have a program, as I mentioned earlier, which is the Transfer Opportunity Program, or TOP for short. This was a program that was designed for um, underrepresented population, first-generation college students, but it's open to anybody. The only requirement that we have is that you have to have a desire to transfer. So if you have a desire to transfer, what we do is we provide an in-depth understanding of the transfer process. So all the things that I mentioned the transfer center does, understanding requirements, special programs, um, application assistance. We provide all of that in classroom settings. So new incoming freshmen, if you have an interest of transferring to a four-year school, it'd be very um, beneficial for you to get connected to us in the top center to assist you with your transfer process. But we also have um, the writing center that can help you with such things as your personal insight questions or, or essays that can help you with your applications. Um, but there's many sources on campus, but primarily for our transfer students, those would be my top transfer center and the transfer opportunity program. Uh, hi, my name is Kevin O'Hara and I'm an associate professor of film and television at Orange Coast College. I would say the type of student that I look for in my class is someone who just wants to pitch in, somebody who wants to learn and someone who's eager to be involved. I think the benefit of going to community college uh, right away as opposed to going to a four-year university is a lot of students don't quite know exactly what they want to do. And so if you're going straight to a four-year university and you're not exactly sure your pathway, um, then you might go down the wrong pathway and you might actually choose a major that you, you, you know you're not really passionate about. Community college is great. I'm a product of, product of the community college. You can go there, you can explore a little bit, find out exactly what um, you're interested in, what your talents are, and then take that further after a couple of years and move on to the university where you can focus on um, your study. Thanks for joining us at Orange Coast College. From transfer tips to student support programs, OCC has a lot to offer. I'm Brayden, and this has been Life in the Harbor. Stay curious, and we'll see you next time. As the year is coming to a close, we've taken the time to highlight some of our athletes' achievements this year. Kicking off the last sports recap this year is our Newport Harbor baseball team. The team with standout senior Dominic Viglione, Jack Pinker, and Charlie Raggetts bounced back to win eight of their last 10 games, ending with a 15-16 record. Their best game was win over Marina Vikings at Angel Stadium in April, winning 3-1 in extra innings. Catch their next game against Elisa Nagel at 4.30. Next up is the softball team, who finished the season at four wins and 19 losses. Their biggest highlight was sweeping the Sea Kings 20-17 and 15-0.
with standout seniors Ava Nolan and Vicky King making key contributions. Congrats on the end of the season, girls, and congratulations to the seniors at the end of your season. The boys on the tennis court also finished their year and accounted for a total of three wins and 11 losses and three ties. The team had impressive skills on the court and showed it in their game, such as a 10-8 win against Laguna Beach. The team displayed great character on the courts, and although they didn't get their desire outcome sometimes, they pursued their goals with excitement and persistence every day. Great job, boys. Shifting over to boys lacrosse, the team faced a difficult schedule and accumulated three wins and 13 losses. However, through determination, they were able to smash teams like Capistrano Valley, Dana Hill, and Linwood. Congratulations, gentlemen, especially to the seniors, including Gavin Braun, Benson Alita, and McKay Ketchum on finishing the season strong. As for the girls, the team fought through ups and downs, faced admirable opponents. They finished the season with a record of nine wins and 10 losses. The team showcased incredible adversary in facing teams like Laguna Beach and Esperanza. After some emotional and hard fought games, the senior being Emma Chex, Lucy Tui, and Brooklyn Matusik, Embrace the team. Congrats, ladies, on the season. The boys and girls swim team also performed well this year. They were able to showcase their skills against schools like Laguna Beach in their meet days. There were many displays of talent on the team, and with their success in meets, they were also able to go to tournaments at Golden West College to compete in freestyle swimming, getting the opportunity to compete at the highest level. Great job on the season, sailors. The boys golf team has done an amazing job this year and performed beautifully in competitions. The boys were able to take the win on April 24th against Laguna Beach, adding to their win record and finishing with an overall record of six wins and four losses. Their standout senior includes Ben Glasson, Zach Moreau, and Josh Dotman. Good job boys on the amazing season and good luck next year. The boys volleyball team had an amazing season earning many memorable victories against the team including CDM, Fountain Valley, and Los Alamitos. They finished their season with a total record of 31 wins and 10 losses, showcasing their incredible talent and standout seniors like Riggs Guy, Walker Vasek, and Charlie Harrington. With their incredible skills, they had opportunities to complete in CIF and Santa Barbara tournament. Congrats on an incredible run. And as for the track and field team, they were able to secure solid wins in meets and the boys and girls ended with sound records. Great job to all the sports this year. On behalf of TAR TV, we would like to say congratulations and good luck to all the teams next year. And a special thank you to all the seniors this year. We wish you good luck as you all head out for school. And as always, go Sailors! As a senior, do you sleep in? As a senior, do you skip class? As a senior, do you park in Jack Dude, spot? Dude, shut up. Ask Google. Thank you. Hi, uh, I'm Ryan Agzor. I'm Joanna Diaz. I'm Mia Gray Gregan. And, and we're, we're seniors, seniors, and, and this, this is TAR TV, TV Autocomplete. Auto Let's see, what's the first question? <laughs> what are your plans after high school? Um, I am going to the University of New Hampshire to study civil engineering. I am so excited between two colleges, but I'm leaning towards Boise right now. Right now, uh, I'm planning to go to OCC while kind of dual enrolling at Santa Ana Community College to try to pursue a fire degree and maybe some sort of STEM degree at OCC. I haven't figured that out yet. So, next one, let's hit it. What was your favorite book as a kid? My favorite book as a kid was probably the Hunger Games series. I just really liked them. Uh, I really liked um, Harry Potter specifically. I believe it was the seventh one, Order of the Phoenix. It, I found that to be a fantastic book. Um, it was just so long and I love the final battle. Uh, I think my favorite children's book is The Giving Tree. Yep. Uh, yeah. Go. Okay, do you have any regrets about high school? Um, no, not really. I feel like I did everything I had to do and was involved in like anything. Uh, personally, I learned from my mistakes and I find them invaluable to me. So I don't really have any regrets because I'm happy that I made these mistakes. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I really have any regrets that I would change because ultimately this whole experience made me the way I am today. Oh, <laughs> all right. Take two, come on. Yeah. Do I have senioritis? No. 
unfortunately, my mom kind of got that out of the way for me. Uh, I'd rather come home to a happy mom than a bad mom. So, yeah. um, I definitely had senioritis. I feel like I missed so much school and I was like late every day. Uh, I have senioritis, but I still come because I'm like afraid of missing school. <laughs> okay. Next one, last one. Let's see it. Come on, we got it. Nope. <laughs> All right, run it back. Yeah. What elective that you stood out well, what elective that you took stood out the most? There we go. Um, personally, for me, um, probably choir. Uh, it's the thing I've done for four years. Um, I'm very appreciative of it. Last year, I got to go to New York, and that was a ton of fun. I was with my homies up in Manhattan, a block away from Times Square, and that was like the coolest experience ever, man. I would probably say culinary. I was in it all four years, and it was just like a growing experience, and it like had like a lot of valuable lessons and everything. So. I think um, my favorite elective has to be Pep Squad. I'm on the varsity song team. I've been on it for four years and it's just been a great experience where I, um, I made a family here at school and I got to be so involved in every sports game and all the rallies. And it was just a wonderful experience where I could like be a leader and a team. This was Star TV, TV Autocomplete. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. Shadows disappeared, the animals inside came out to play. Went face to face with all our fears, learned our lessons through the tears, made memories we knew would never fade. One day my father, he told me, son, don't let it slip away. He took me in his arms, I heard him say, when you get older, you wild heart will live for younger days. Think of me if ever you're afraid. He said one day. To those shining stars He said go venture far beyond the shores Don't forsake this life of yours I'll guide you home no matter where you are One day my father He told me son don't let it slip away When I was just a kid I heard him say Thank you for watching this episode of Char TV. And as always, thank you for being a captive audience. And as always, Go, Go Sailors! sailors!